In this question, they're asking us how many cubes will fit in this box and what's the surface area? Now the dots you're seeing here are a part of something that I like called isometric dot paper. If you, you download, the, download the paper online, you can buy it in places, but if you look at isometric paper or dot paper, you'll see that word dot, that it's actually really helpful with drawing a three-dimensional shape. And you can kind of see what they did here to draw this rectangular prism, and they're showing, this is the box they're talking about, really all you have to do is connect the dots, and it helps you draw a 3D shape. They're not perfect and it has limitations, but for rectangular prisms especially, this can be a very helpful tool. So that's our rectangular prism. And they're giving us some cubes. They're saying, well, here are some cubes, right? And and how many more will fit in? And, and overall, what's the total volume? And then what's the surface area? Well, really what they're doing here, let me clear off some of these lines. I'm noticing that some of those lines are a little confusing. It throws the 3D shape off. Let me bury some of those lines there. Okay, when they give you these cubes, right, they're giving you the length, the width, and the height. Because here, since this height, these cubes go up by three, that means the height has to equal three units. And here, let's call this the width. There are four cubes, so the width is four, and here, this other dimension we'll call the length. There's five cubes, so the length is five. So that means you have a height, right, of here of, of three, a width of four, and a length of five. We multiply these three to find the volume, right, because the volume is just height times width times length, and that's 12 by five, or 60. So let's say these are, these are centimeters, so that would be 60 cubic centimeters. And what does that mean? Well, if you were to take some time and draw in the actual cubes here, you would see that what, would, what this number means is that you can actually fit, right, 60 cubes, I'm using the wrong color there, 60 cubes within this larger rectangular prism. And that's kind of a fun thing that I'll leave to you, and, and it, it's just a good reminder though that this volume actually, it literally means how many centimeter cubes can be fit within this box. Well, the answer happens to be exactly 60. But let's use this idea to also solve for the surface area. There are, of course, different faces here. Let's look at this one, right? So this face right here. What's the surface area of this? Because that'll help us find also this one, this face back here. Right? These faces should be identical. And I know that, again, the length here is 5 and the height is 3. So this is a rectangle with a with a height, a length of five and a height of three, and so is this one. So those two faces will be five by three. And there are two of them, so I'll just double that, which is 15 times two, or 30. So we found the centimeters squared, because we're saying these are centimeters, and that just means how many square faces fit on each of these rectangles. That's two of the faces. There are six in total, four more to go. We have one right here, and this matches the one in the back over here, right? This one's going to be a 4 by 3 because, like we said before, we called this the width. The width is 4 and the height's 3. So these two rectangles are 4 by 3. So 4 times 3 times 2, which is 12 times 2, or 24 square centimeters. And two more left. We have the top, right, here, and which matches the bottom face down here. Now those two, what are they? Well... Again, this width is 4, but now it's the width and the length we're combining. It's 4 by 5, and there are two of those. So 4 times 5 times 2, which is 20 times 2, or 40 centimeters squared. Add them up, 30, 24, and 40. What do we get? Well, 40 and 30 is 70, plus 24 is 94 centimeters squared. And notice, in this case, the surface area is more than the volume start thinking about how those two relate to each other in these kinds of problems. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thanks.